there were three in-app updates announced by DoorDash last week. However, these three updates, which were meant to promote driver safety and simplicity when declining orders, have been characterized by many dashers as an invasion of privacy, and some actually believe that these features will make dashing harder. Therefore, in this video, Uncle Willie, <laughs> that's me, is going to tell you everything you need to know about these three updates. I am going to be referencing the original announcement article so that you can come to your own conclusion and prepare for your future dashes. So let's get straight into the video. For those of you who are unaware, you can find DoorDash news online in the DoorDash newsroom under the announcements tab. Now the article I'm going to be referring to in this video is titled, How We're Testing New Features to Help Promote Dasher Safety on the Road. The first new safety tool discussed in this article is called Driving Insights. This safety tool uses mobile phone tracking data collected from a driver's phone while dashing to identify rapid changes in braking and acceleration. This data will be used to create reports that will be sent to dashers about their driving quality. Now, DoorDash's hope with this new safety tool was to give us drivers feedback regarding our driving habits so that we could adjust our habits while we are dashing. Although I do see the benefit of this safety tool, many dashers online are not comfortable with DoorDash tracking their driving quality. Some dashers are literally online right now shatting on DoorDash's name due to these new features, as some believe that these updates require additional phone tracking data. However, DoorDash states that this Driving Insights feature uses the same location information already collected from a dasher's phone while dashing to identify rapid changes in braking and acceleration thus inferring that no additional phone tracking information will be collected from the Dasher's phone. However, the question is, how will these driver quality reports affect Dasher's ability to dash in the future? Will we be given different orders based off of our driving report? If we have a hard braking score or rapid acceleration score, will this limit our access to high paying orders in the next one to two years? Or is this tool strictly for the Dasher's benefit? I believe this tool is strictly for the Dasher's benefit. However, there are some valid concerns that I hope the DoorDash team addresses in the future. If you are finding value in this video so far, please make sure to subscribe for more DoorDash tips and DoorDash news. If you are subscribed, thank you so much. And if you aren't subscribed, <laughs> your mom's a hoe. No, I'm just playing, maybe. Anyways, the second in-app feature is Apple CarPlay integration. Apple CarPlay allows dashers to show the DoorDash app's navigation interface on the car's built-in screens. This creates a safer dashing experience as dashers are less focused on their phone and more focused on the road. Although being able to sync the DoorDash navigation feature from your phone to your car's screen is very beneficial, this article does not specify whether or not this sync will apply for all of DoorDash features or just the navigation feature. In my opinion, the 45 second time limit we have to either accept or decline an order is the most dangerous activity when dashing. It is extremely it is extremely difficult to pay attention to the road, drive, and read an order while holding your phone up to your face, all within 45 seconds. Hopefully the Apple CarPlay feature allows for all DoorDash app features to be cast onto the car screen, as this would make accepting and declining orders much, much safer and hopefully DoorDash decides to increase the time limit that we have to accept or decline orders. The final in-app feature DoorDash decided to introduce is speed limit notification on in-app navigation, which will pretty much compare the speed at which you are driving to the actual speed limit using mobile phone tracking data. Now DoorDash made sure to state this at the end of the article regarding Dasher privacy. We take the privacy of all DoorDash users seriously and our pilots are being conducted in strict accordance with our Dasher privacy policy. Now from what I read online, I don't see a major reason to be concerned with Dasher privacy or the difficulty of upcoming dashes in the future, as DoorDash is not asking for additional permission to track our phones. But what I am concerned about is how these new driver quality reports will affect a dasher's access to high paying orders, as everything that we dashers do is directly correlated to whether or not we get high paying orders. Now it is important to note that two out of these three in-app features are not currently available to every dasher. The Driving Insights tool will only be available in these nine cities, the Apple CarPlay feature is only available to dashers in the 17 US markets, but the speed limit notification on in-app navigation is available to all dashers everywhere. Now, if you are someone who is watching this video, you obviously want to stay up to date with recent DoorDash news and DoorDash tips, which is why you must watch this video above where I share the best tips for dashing during the week of Thanksgiving. 
This video includes tips that will allow you to save time between each order and maximize your earnings while dashing during this busy time of year. Once this video is complete and uploaded, I will link it above here or check out the video below where I share the best door dashing tips for 2023 that have allowed me to earn over $35 an hour on numerous occasions while dashing. Obviously earning this much is not the norm, but these tips are guaranteed to increase your earnings as a dasher. As always, remember, wisdom is free and knowledge is power. And until next time, take it easy.